lined up and down Pine Avenue, vendors getting back into the normal routines of serving the community after the pandemic hit their businesses hard in 2020. They told us to shut down because there's COVID spreading. After that, we just kind of stayed home for like months and like there was nothing, no business, no anything. For one vendor, On Point Jerk Chicken, their upcoming business was faced with ongoing obstacles like a five month delay on the order of their truck and no customers to serve. And didn't know what to do because all the nightclubs, everything that we were planning on being around was shut down for over a year and a half. In the past, hesitations to become a vendor were not uncommon because of the limitations in place for these types of businesses. I think that the barriers to entry for food trucks were very difficult. You had to navigate a lot of chapters pre-COVID. However, a recent bill introduced by Long Beach Senator Lana Gonzalez now supports street vendors and eases restrictions on them, bringing light to unideal circumstances and hope to those who wish to become a, a vendor. It's a good thing because a lot of food vendors, they don't have rights to do much because like the community is pretty strict on them. Nothing about COVID really was a good thing, but there are some positives that are coming out of it that are allowing for people to like kind of lift themselves out of their socioeconomic status. Can I have the potato salad, please? Sounds good. Thank you. Despite all of the challenges they faced during the pandemic, vendors across the city of Long Beach, like On Point Jerk Chicken, are still finding the silver lining in a difficult situation. For WSRH Extra, I'm Madison Newman.